This is a Chucky Beat production. Alright, what's up, y'all? So, I know I'm a little late to the party. And sorry, I don't necessarily watch award shows or anything like that. Um, however, I did hear about the story um, where for album of the year, I believe it was, Adele beat out Beyonce. And uh, it was a shock even to Adele because even Adele had to admit that it was Beyonce who should have really won album of the year. Um, and I... Um, I believe it was Dr. Michael Eric Dyson uh, talking on Power 105.1, The Breakfast Club, uh, with those folks over there that talking about how, um, you know, never have you seen or, or, or it's been going on forever now that um, in this country, when black folks have the greater talent, or let me not put it that way, um, well, no, that, that might even be the right way for me to put it, truthfully. But when black folks have expressed or, or shown greater talent, and there are times where white folks have uh, shown greater talent, right? There's times where different people are going to be more talented, right? Um, but one of the things that Dr. Uh, Dyson was talking about was the fact that only when black folks have the greater talent do we ever do we continually see that they get snubbed and uh it seems that across the board there there should have been no competition about whether or not beyonce or or an adele should have won that um competition and adele by all means black folks acknowledge the greatness of adele and by all means adele is great in her own right but Beyonce right now is at the top of the game and has been for 10 years. And so for her to not win that award just seems um, pretty, it's a blow. It's a blow. And so one of the things that I, I'm, I'm bringing to the table and one of the thoughts that I want to share in this video is that, you know, while, while, how do I even put this? While many people do talk about, um, you know, greatness being enough and just putting in hard work, etc., um, I think more of the truth of the matter, right? This this might be where um, you have, a, let's call it a uh, an Ecclesiastes moment, right? Everything is a is a everything is a grasping of the wind, you know. Um, because yes, a proverb would say that if you work hard, then you will be rewarded. But something like in the book of Ecclesiastes, for those of you who don't know, I'm just using biblical references um, that I think are pretty applicable to this. But the book of Ecclesiastes is kind of talks about how although the stuff in Proverbs should be the case, oftentimes just the way this world works, sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes greatness is not enough. Sometimes you can be the greatest and not get the reward. Sometimes you can put in the most work and not uh, not win the race. Because unfortunately, the world isn't at a, a pure meritocracy as you would think. Now, meritocracy, uh, for those of you who do not, don't don't know, simply means that it's a a, a system. Especially if you're talking about a government that's based on um, merit, so to speak, right? So the work that you put in, the good that you provide, the value that you provide. So if you pro in a, mer in a mer meritocracy, <laughs> if you provide the best value or if you work the hardest, then uh, you should reap the biggest reward. And certainly we're not saying that Beyonce hasn't reaped some rewards, but what we are saying is that she hasn't reaped in this case the ultimate reward even though she's probably put in the most work we know that when it comes to a performance she goes hard she goes harder than anybody else out there all right and 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 so greatness isn't enough and this is why i said even in the last video that we have to begin doing what we know is the right thing to do on the ground level and what i mean by that is 
until we as people, how do I even put this? You, when, 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 when putting these ideas and thoughts together, like on paper, it's one thing, but when saying it, you know, and explaining it, um, sometimes another, and you want to just make sure that you use the right words. Uh, but I think what I want to say is, we've seen, at least if you're black, right? Not just black. Women, if you're a woman, you have experienced this. Um, if you are, uh, every, everybody has probably even experienced this. I don't care if, even if you are a white privileged male, you have probably experienced this in some way, shape or form at some point in your life. But greatness is not enough. Just because you put in the hard work, you know that sometimes things are unfair and work against you. But what I'm saying is that this, I believe, should be one of the things that puts it even more in our hearts to help those who don't have the same access to opportunity that we have, right? To help those who have traditionally been underserved and forgotten about and who constantly um, have opportunity stripped away from them even many of whom have gr greater intellect than some of us, many of whom have greater um, talent than some, many of whom uh, have 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 um, just uh, even greater views or what have you. But sometimes they are just not in a position to win, and so it would be it, 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 it's and it's unfair to them, and they don't have that opportunity, they don't have that chance, and so. For those of us who've experienced what it's been, been like to to lose in an unfair way, uh, we have to also remember that there are many people who are losing in bigger ways than us, and we have to be willing to go back into those communities and, and give back to those people and say, hey, how, how can I help? How can I lift you up? How can I give you opportunity so that you don't have to be, miss out? And how do we, and, and one thing I really want to think about is how can we get to the point where Nobody has to miss out. Why should we have to live in a world where people have to miss out? There is more, like, think about the world. There is actually more than enough to go around. The, those who have everything at the top have more than enough to make sure that people aren't going hungry, to make sure that other people in the world aren't starving, not just people in our own country, but other people in the world. But you know what? Unfortunately, Human beings are greedy, right? And and that's something that we don't acknowledge. Like, we, we, we get caught up in saying like, yo, yes, yeah, somebody has earned and earned and earned and earned. But at what point do we say that earning is enough and it's time to take care of other people also? Other people who don't have the ability to earn. And when I say the ability to earn, I'm not just talking about the physical ability, but I'm also talking about maybe they don't have the mental ability to, to earn, right? Or maybe they maybe they have a block as far as their psychology because they've been brought up in an environment where they've never even thought that opportunity was possible. They never thought that they could have. And how do we go back and pour back into them to make sure that they understand, no, you, like, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but we can figure out ways for you to have access. Like, it's just ridiculous to me that people go hungry in this world when there are people who have more than enough. And we are satisfied with just being at a place where people can't eat, people are starving, people are dying of starvation. You know, I, I'm, I, I live right outside of DC now and I, and I do work in DC. Like, in the hood, the straight up hood. You know what I'm saying? What we call the hood. And I literally see people every day who I know have talent, who I know have intellect, right? But who are going without because they don't have access to the same resources as many others. And many people have so many resources that for generations and generations and generations, they will be taken care of forever. Matter of fact, they've already been taken care of for generations. And they, we are so greedy. I'm, I'm saying we, for lack of a better word, because all of us in some way, shape, or form are greedy. But let's be honest, there's a certain group that has been much greedier than others, right? And we're so greedy that we continue building wealth 
to the detriment of our brothers and sisters. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. But um, my challenge to those of us who, uh, as we as we climb the ladder, and we may not have much to give back, but what we can give back. And I'm not talking about necessarily financially. You might not have financially, but but you might be able to give back physically through being a mentor, through being a good example, uh, to just having a conversation, to just validating somebody. Um, you know, so um, so again, yeah, greatness isn't enough. Because if you're great, but you're not giving back with your greatness, if you're great, but not lifting somebody else up with your greatness, and you have the resources to do so, what, what is it for? And so again, the challenge is average is failure, right? And so we don't want to settle for being average. We don't want, want to settle for those being who, those who get and get and get and achieve and achieve and achieve, but never uh, use the, the, but never get to the point where we have power and our power and influence have a positive impact on uh, the people around us. So average is failure. Let's unleash that dy dynamite power. And one of the ways that we do that is by as, as we get access and as we achieve, uh, we help others to do the same. So that's it for me, Born Edney. Um, those are my thoughts, man. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you, man. Peace out.